Today, the following headline, Iranian video, Islamic Messiah is near, was displayed boldly on the Drudge Report, one of the most viewed news sources in the world. CBN News says new evidence has emerged that the Iranian government sees the current unrest in the Middle East as a signal that the Mahdi, or Islamic Messiah, is about to appear. CBN News has obtained a never-before-seen video produced by the Iranian regime that says all the signs are moving into place and that Iran will soon help uh, usher in the end times. While the revolutionary movement gripping the Middle East uh, have created uncertainty throughout the region, the uh, video shows that the Iranian regime believes the chaos is divine proof that their ultimate victory is at hand. The propaganda footage has reportedly been approved at the highest levels of the Iranian government. It's called The Coming is Near and it uh, describes current events in the Middle East as a prelude to the arrival of the mythical 12th Amman or Mahdi, uh, the Messiah figure whom Islamic scriptures say will lead the armies of Islam to victory over all non-Muslims in the last days. This video has been produced by a group called the Conductors of the Coming in connection with the Bazai, the Iranian Parliamentary Force, and in collaboration with the Iranian President's Office, said Reza Kili, a former member of Iran's Revolutionary Guards, who shared the video with CBN News. Khalil, author the, of the book uh, A Time to Betray, worked as a double agent for the CIA inside the Iranian regime. Just a few weeks ago, Ahmadinejad's office screened this movie with much excitement for the clerics, Khalil uh, told the uh, uh, CBN News. The target audience is Muslims in the Middle East and around the world. To watch this video in its entirety, go to the link found in the description below uh, in this video. Uh, this video claims that Iran is uh, destined to rise as a great power in the last days to help defeat America and Israel and usher in the return of the Mahdi. And, it's, and it makes uh, clear that Iranians believe the time is fast approaching. The Hadith have clearly described the events and the uh, various transformations of countries in the Middle East and also that of Iran in the age of the coming, said the narrator, who went on to say that America's invasion of Iraq was foretold by Islamic scripture and that the Mahdi will uh, one day soon uh, rule the world from Iraq. The ongoing upheavals in other Middle East countries like Yemen and Egypt, including the rise of the Muslim Brotherhood, are also uh, analyzed as prophetic signs that the Mahdi is near. So is the current poor health of the King of Saudi Arabia and Iranian rival. Isn't the presence of Adullah, his illness, and his uncertain condition great news for those anxious for his coming, asked the narrator. Iran's supreme leader Ayatollah Khomeini and Hassan Nasrallah, leader of Iran's terrorist proxy Hezbollah, are hailed as pivotal end times players whose rise was predicted in Islamic scriptures. The same goes for Iran's President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, who the video says will conquer Jerusalem prior to the Mahdi return. I think it's a very grave development, Middle East expert Joel Rosenberg, uh, author of the 12th Amman, told CBN News, because it gives you a window into the thinking of the Iranian leadership, that they believe the time for war with Israel may be even closer than others uh, had imagined. Kahili says the coming is near will soon be distributed by the Iranian regime throughout the Middle East. He explained that their goal is to instigate further uprisings in Arab countries. One thing that should be understood is it is well known that Islam's prophet Muhammad studied under both Christians and Jews uh, of his time, but was rejected by both religions due to his bizarre ideas. 
Thus, some of his uh, end-time beliefs in the Quran are similar to what the Bible predicts for the last days. For example, the Bible predicts an Antichrist will rise in the last days, accompanied by signs, and just so, just so happens the Quran has its own version of the Antichrist, his activities, and the signs that will accompany his arrival, but with an alternate ending. I won't go into the whole story, but the Islamic Antichrist who will be a Jewish leader will be totally defeated by the rise of a unified Islamic world, ushering in the appearance of the twelfth Amman. That's their story. As stated in the above CBN article, the Islamic world sees this Middle East uprising as a fulfillment of prophecy and sign that their Messiah is near. But that's where the similarities end between the Bible and the Quran. The truth is, the Bible doesn't just have a few sketchy signs that prove we are living in the end times. There are literally dozens of blatant warnings that have already come to pass, and many more that are setting, uh, are setting the stage to be fulfilled very soon. In fact, the Bible states by the midway point of the tribulation period, Islam, along with every other religion, will be a thing of the past. Just like Christianity, Satan will have no tolerance for Allah the moon god of Islam. Satan's mission from the beginning will be to have exclusive worship worldwide and he will nearly accomplish his goal. The Bible is clear all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him which will be the Antichrist whose names are not written in the book of life uh, of the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. This scripture says that no other religions will survive but the worship of Christ and Antichrist. Once he has established control through his Antichrist, he will succeed in destroying the world religious system, including Islam. When Satan enters the Antichrist, he will exalt himself above every religion and God, including the God of Christianity, and demand personal worship. The Bible says, And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God, to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. This scripture proves that, this, that Satan will not use the Muslim religion to trick the world into worshiping him. The Quran specifically asserts that the God of Islam is the God of Christians and Jews, but that they have corrupted the scriptures, making the Quran the new book of God. So by exalting the God of Islam, Satan would be exalting the God of the Bible. Satan will have no part of that. Actually, it is my belief that Islam will fall early in the tribulation period after its miraculous defeat by the true God of Israel at the Battle of Gog and Magog. Following this great defeat, I speculate that this will spark a mass exodus from the religion of Islam and other religions to Christianity, but not without a cost. If in fact this movie is uh, embraced by the Islamic world, the Bible says it will only serve as a tool to gather the nations against Israel for God to destroy them. But more importantly, it will ultimately lead many to the saving name of Jesus Christ. What man will purpose for evil, God will glorify himself and use this opportunity to open up a door to his saving grace. This is Terry Malone with the Calvary Prophecy Report.